the competition has begun to heat up leading towards the final day of play with golfers now beginning to show real intent on scoring well. Papua New Guinean golfer Nelson Gabriel had had a poor showing in the Marble Open but was showing a lot more signs of improvement teeing off against Robin James on the 10th hole. I had my practice in Lay, Morobi Open, and I'm uh, so happy to be back. And I'm kind of know this course inside out, but uh, I need to, like I said earlier, I need to get my game together. Nelson Gabriel, thank you very much for your time, brother. Oh, good, I appreciate it. All the best. Cheers. I measure our players against the pros, and it's exciting to see when our players beat the pros. And like, if you talk to a few of the guys who play with our national players, they're shaking heads going, who are these kids? These kids are awesome. They're really good players. PGA Tournament Coordinator Justin Maker rounded off the previous day's action and stated that the field was still open. Yeah, no, scoring is, uh, has been a little better than I certainly predicted at the start of the week. Uh, the guys are enjoying the, the Royal Port Moresby Golf Course and, and the scores that they're shooting, it's uh, certainly indicating that. Uh, currently after round two we have uh, Chris Muick leading by one shot. Uh, he overtook uh, our first round leader, Peter Zwart, with a two under past 70 yesterday, so he sits atop of the leaderboard at six under. The competition will end tomorrow with 350,000 Kina in prize money up for grabs. Jeremy Moggy, National, MTV News.